Vietnam all over and all this chaos all around us. And um, so this scripture really got my attention. Jesus told us that we need to lay the root, at the ax at the root, and it will sever the life of the vine, tree, or whatever is growing that is not from the Father. The Lord told us that we need to cut off evil at the root and stop the unrighteousness that we're seeing. We need to lay the ax at the root of corruption in government, in Hollywood, and everywhere else where unrighteousness and injustice is being promoted. There are many people that are being influenced by the enemy to propagate an evil agenda throughout this nation. So in prayer, we must lay the ax at the root to all that is evil that's working behind the scenes in all those places. The enemy has his agenda, and Father God has his agenda too. Amen. We have the victory. God will never allow himself to be put in checkmate. He reserves the last move for himself. But we have to pray. We have to do our part to see righteousness. So pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay the ax at the root of all that is evil in this country and all over the world. We lay the acts at the root of all acts of unrighteousness and we sever all the life that these evil spirits are giving and empowering the leadership in this country and all the countries. We forbid that these evil spirits to operate in the name of Jesus. We come against these powers with the blood of Jesus. We put the blood of Jesus on the walls of every believer's heart and on the walls of every person's heart, house, at this time. Father, we stand up for righteousness, your righteousness, Father. And we ask for protection, Father. And we sever all that is evil in Hollywood. We, we sever all satanic evil in our government, in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you that the people that are enforcing these terrible things on this earth are powerless against you. You're bigger than in all of this, Father. Lord God, you are the great and mighty God. The Lord's will shall be accomplished because the power that is behind these people is going away. So, Father, we ask for, we ask for, for this to be done. Amen and so be it, Father God. We love our country. We love the people in the country. We love our leaders, Lord, but we pray for our leaders. They are flawed, Father God. They are flawed. And, Father, just like we are. So, Father, and you love us just like you love them. So, Lord, we just pray, Lord, a hedge of protection around our country, a hedge of protection around our homes, our children, our grandchildren, all those that we love, Lord. We pray for the healing of those who are sick in this congregation, Lord. We lift them up today, Father God. We ask you to bless them and keep them in your sight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. tried so hard to see it took me so long to believe it that you choose someone like me to carry your victory perfection could never earn it you give what we don't deserve it. You take the broken things and raise them to glory. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated. 
with the one who has conquered it all. Now I can finally see it. You're, You're teaching, teaching me how to receive it. So let all the striving cease. This is my victory. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you won. I am who you say I am.
have the authority. Hallelujah. And Jesus has given me. for a moment. We're in the presence of God. Just for this moment, began to talk to him. Talk to him in your own way. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we worship you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, Lord. And ala basi la boko ya basa. Nana basori and ala basi. Gi and ala basi kondola boso. <laughs> yes, Lord. Your will, Lord. Your will, your way. Your will, your way, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your will, your way. We submit ourselves to you. Your will, your way, Lord. This is your time. This is your place, God. This is your vessel, God. Your will, your way. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak, he called the Messiah. Your way, God. Your way, your way, your way, your way. Not our way. Your way, God. Your way, your way, your way. We say yes to you. 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 Yes, Lord. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's right. Talk to him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Line your will up according to the will of Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Line your will up according to the will of Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Not my way, but your way. Not my work, but your work, Christ. Your work, your work, your will be done in my life. Yours. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Father, we worship you. Just raise your hands for a moment. You may be seated. Just raise your hands while you're seated. I don't have to preach. It's already been spoken. It's been spoken. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. You are King. You are Lord. You are Savior. You are mighty. You are strong tower. You are all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a sweet, there's a sweet spirit in this place. There is a sweet spirit. I see him ministering to you already. There is a sweet spirit in this place. There is a sweet spirit in this place. Oh, my Lord. Ha, 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 ha. Yay. Handala maso kori basandola basha. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your presence being here. Thank you for your presence being here. Thank you for your presence being here, Lord. Thank you for your presence being here at Jubilee Worship Center. Thank you for your presence being here. Thank you for talking to us today, God. Thank you for talking to us today. Thank you. We appreciate who you are, God. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! I give you glory. Yes, Lord, move. This is your place. Move the way you want. Move the way you want, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Your name is worthy. Hallelujah. You're the doorkeeper. Hallelujah. God, you're the good shepherd. Hallelujah. You're the son of God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 God knows, God knows, God knows, God knows, God knows, God knows. Mm. Ah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Mm. Woo, we're praying. Thank you, Jesus. While we're in the praying, we're going to pray for the bishop. Pray for Bishop Combs, oh God, Sister Lisa, God, and their family, God. We pray, God, your strength, your protection, your guidance, your understanding upon them in the name of Jesus. The anointing that destroys the yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus, God. We pray, God, on his family, you'll continue to bless, oh God, his seed and his seed, seed in the name of Jesus. Prosperity to him. Hallelujah. Prosperity on the seed. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, we glorify your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the prosperity here at Jubilee Worship Center. Thank you for prosperity, God, that you're pouring out your spirit. You're pouring out your anointing. You're pouring out your strength. You're pouring out the holy gift of the spirit of the Holy Ghost upon each believer. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it. And we glorify you. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I feel a yes in this place. I feel a yes in this place. I feel a yes in this place. There is a yes, Lord, in this place. There is a yes, Lord, in this place. Yes means I surrender. Yes means I give it all up. Yes means I have no other agenda. Yes means it's all in your hand. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to sit down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Mm. Woo! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Glory to the name of Jesus. Glory, 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 glory to the name of Jesus. Ah, yes, Lord, 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 yes, Lord. You haven't heard it in a long time. Say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, your will be done. Yes, Lord, your way be done. Yes, Lord, I'll obey. Yes, Lord, I'll do your will. Yes, Lord. All he's asking is a yes right now. Submitting yourself to him. Submitting yourself to his power. Submitting yourself to his 
will. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'll worship you. Yes, Lord, I'll praise you. Yes, Lord, I'll exalt your name. Yes, Lord, I'll give you all that I have. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You've been going through trouble. All you got to do is say yes, Lord. You've been going through pain. All you got to do is say yes, Lord. You've been suffering long enough. Yes, Lord. You have had this addiction for a while. Yes, Lord. You've been going through all this trouble. Yes, Lord. My children need to be saved. Yes, Lord. My wife needs to be saved. Yes, Lord. My husband needs to be saved. Yes, Lord. It ain't coming no other way. It's not coming any other way besides you saying yes, besides you humbling yourself before the hand of God. Though so God can do what he needs to do in your life, you're not going to resist him. You can't stand and you can't fight against him. The only other option is, yes, Lord. He's waiting to bless you. He's waiting to pour out his spirit upon you. He's waiting to give you the fruit of the spirit. He's waiting to bless your life. He's waiting to pour his anointing upon you. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. All you have to do is say, yes, Lord. Resist the devil and he will free. Resist the enemy. Resist the thoughts in your mind. Resist not so many. Resist it and submit yourself to God. God is greater. Resist the enemy. Resist the temptation. Resist the thoughts. Resist the complaining. Resist the negative ways. Resist it. He'll flee because that's what the Bible says. Resist it. When we say yes to God, he comes in. When we say yes to his will, he'll do what is pleasing in his sight for you. When you say yes to his will. There are some people that are going to get it, and there will be some that won't get it. Yes, Lord. In my spirit, yes, Lord. In my heart, yes, Lord. In my mind, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is a peace when you say yes, Lord. There is a peace when you say yes, Lord. There is a peace when you say yes, Lord. Trouble seems to go away when you say yes, Lord. Problem seems to disappear when you say yes, Lord. He seems to give you strength to be able to handle the situation when you say yes, Lord. He gives you the strength to be able to know what to do, how to do it, where to do it when you say yes, Lord. <laughs> There are so many things that God wants to do for us, but we keep resisting him. We keep trying to do our own thing. We keep trying to do our own way. And God said, all I need is a yes. All I want you to do is yes. All I want you to do is raise your hands. All I want you to do is do what I ask you to do. And then submit yourself to me. I'll be your provider. Every, th every th uh, 66 books in the Bible says what I'll do for you and what I'll do for the enemies that are against you. And the only thing I'm asking you to do is say yes to me. I didn't ask you to do anything besides yes to me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's a sweet, sweet spirit. If you haven't said yes, Lord, you can easily say right now, Lord, forgive me for all the times I've said no. I'm willing to say yes. Ha. He sees the resistance. God knows everything. 
There is nothing that he does not know anything about. He knows everything. When you accepted him, you said yes. When he became Lord of your life, you said yes. When he became king and he took you from the wickedest and the worst places, you said yes. All of a sudden, we've been saved for some time and we're going to tell him, no, not right now. This ain't the time. I need to fix it. She did this. He did that. I'm not doing it. This ain't right. I'm not doing it. And he only asked us to do is say, yes, Lord. Now we didn't got grown and we forgot the trot that we came to Christ Jesus as we were and we humbled ourselves and we said, yes, Lord, yes to your will. Yes, I'll obey. Yes, I'll do what you ask me to do. Yes, I'll witness your gospel. Yes, I'll pray. Yes, I'll read your word. Yes, I'll do it. All he asking is a yes. Nana my soul, koya masa. I said a word last week. We have to embrace everything about Jesus. When we embrace everything about Jesus, we are saying, yes, Lord. When we embrace everything about Jesus, we're saying, I'll accept the anointing that you have on my life for ministry. I'll do and I'll go and I'll speak and I'll act and I'll love and I'll cherish. I'll do what you said because I've expressed and I've embraced. I've embraced that. I've embraced it. I've embraced it. I didn't resist it. I didn't, I didn't tell him no. I didn't tell him this wasn't the time. I didn't tell him this ain't the right place. I didn't tell him I needed to go fix this or I needed to go fix that. He only asked me, just accept and embrace. Embrace. Ha-na-na-mo-ho, ho basa shi ka na le ho yabasi embrace when is the last time she spoke what the Holy Ghost said when is the last time you got a refilling embrace when is the last time he touched you down in your belly he says you'll be like belly like live rivers of living water flowing when is the last time it flowed when is the last time it came out and it just came out with abundance it came out with life when is the last time when will you embrace the power of the living God Who is this God you serve? Who is the King of kings? Who is the Lord of lords? Who is the God you serve? When will you embrace what I have? When will you embrace who I am? We're worried about so many things in life. And I'm not going to mention them because they're not worth it when you're talking about the king of king. It's not worth it when you're talking about the Lord of Lord. It's not worth it because he's greater than all that is here. Yonder the He's greater than all that is here. He can do anything. The Bible says this in Matthews, Matthews when, when, uh, when Jesus went to go get tempted. He said, he told the devil, he said, thou 
shall not tempt the Lord your God. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. The creator of all things. You shall not tempt me. You shall serve me. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. That's what he said. He said, thou shalt serve the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. So while the world is doing what they're doing, guess, guess what? Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. While the world is going the way it's going and it's doing what it's doing, it is still in reminder that it's still going the way God intended it to go. Not according to what you think, but it's going the way God intended for it to go. If he says this, that's what it's going to be. His word will not return back to him void, but it will accomplish everything that has been set out to do. Raise your hands and say, feel me, Lord. Ha. See, we missed those good old-fashioned Terry service, which everybody was trying to dog out. I don't need to, I don't need to come, Terry. Yes, you do. Wait before the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. You forgot that a part of waiting on God is to fast, is to pray, and to read your Bible. That's what you forgot. You have forgotten it, and in part of it, you forgot to say yes. You forgot to say yes. The mess that is not happening in your home and around you and a husband and a wife is because you forgot to say yes. Because if you say yes, he said, there is a peace that surpasses all understanding that will keep your heart and mind and soul in Christ. There is a peace. Sometimes we think if we have done enough, I've been to church, check. I talked to the pastor, check. I'm doing things in the church and around the church, check. But we forgot the most important thing is the relationship. So it doesn't matter how many times I come. It doesn't matter what I do in the building. It matters about my relationship. That's the reason why Christ died. To bring us back in relationship with Jesus Christ. He died. He took the beating for us. He took all the abuse for us so we can come back in relationship with Jesus Christ. Can we come back in relationship with God? Adam broke it, but Jesus mended it. And the only thing we have to do Say yes. When a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing and obtain favor with God. When a man asks the woman to marry her, she says, yes. 
Not understanding the whole process. Not understanding the whole concept. But she says yes because what I see I love. When we accept Christ, what we see, we love. God doesn't have any flaws. He doesn't have, so why are we selling, why are we telling him no? Why are you telling him I can't handle it? Why are you telling him I can't? Why are you telling him I'm not? Why are you telling him this ain't happening for me? Why are you telling him that? Why are you telling him I ain't going to pray today? I got something else better to do. Why are you telling him I don't have enough time for you no more? Why are you telling it in your heart and, and, and then do it publicly and say, I'm, I don't have to do that no more. I've done that. That was the earlier part of my life. That's when I was a new babe in Christ. How dare you? He said, the children come to me as a child. He said, come to me as a child. And guess what? He didn't tell you come to me as an adult. He said, come to me as a child. As a child. Being a part of God's kingdom, I repeated last week, being a part of the, in the era of God and a joint with Christ Jesus, there are certain things we embrace because we have to learn how to walk as a child of the king. That means you ain't walking in the kingdom right next to the king because you don't know how to walk yet. You don't know how to talk yet. So he places you in certain areas and certain places so you can learn how to talk. And walk this thing by faith. So you can live this thing by faith. So you can become a, a prince or a princess by faith next to Jesus Christ. What he have you going through is not the end of the road. It's not the end of the relationship. It's not the end of life. It's the beginning of something new and beautiful you have never experienced before in your entire life. But the enemy sometimes seems to try to tell you, you know what, you've been down this road before. You already know what the results is. If you spend time with God, I'm going to move your husband to the opposite side. If you spend time, I'm going to mess with you and your job. If you spend time, I'm going to cause the relationship to go up wire. If you spend time, that's, that's he's threatening you. So you don't spend. So the moment you decide to spend, you got that conscious state in the back of your head because he didn't plant something that didn't, should not have been planted in your head. And you're now receiving the garbage that the enemy has because you refuse to say, yes, Lord. If God is God and he controls everything, he can also control Things are out of my control. I can't control the job. I can't control the spouse. I can't control the children. I can't control none of those types of things. But what I can control is my relationship that I have with Jesus Christ. So guess what? I may not have the power to be able to have control over you. But my power comes in my relationship because I keep going down in here. I keep asking him and I keep saying, yes, Lord. Touch God. Touch God. Touch God. I have more access right here than any other place in the world. This is my access. This 
This is where I get my answers. This is how I establish my relationship. My relationship is not established on how I can walk and talk and talk on the high places. That means nothing to God. That means nothing to him. What means to him is my relate, my yes. Yeah. Yeah, from your heart tell the Lord yes 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 he's not looking for singers but he's looking for someone to say yes to his will yes to his way yes to his will yes to his way Just raise your hands. The Holy Ghost is doing. <laughs> Holy Ghost is doing. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is doing. Yes. Pray for Angelica and Ramon. strength upon you now. Whatever it is, God, whatever needs to be, strength upon your people now. They're not here, God, but 
touch him. <laughs> Don't resist. Say yes. Don't resist. My will say yes. The more you resist, your heart will become harder. It's time to come out. It's time to come out. I'm speaking to your spirit. You already know. I don't have to toy. I do not have to go there to you. You already know. Right now, you're having a battle right now on what you're going to do. And the Spirit of the Lord is already telling you, stop, turn around, get out. Get it right before me. It's not promised to you another day, another minute, another time when you know my word. When you stand before the presence of God, you're not just trying to figure out what you're going to do or trying to just get something done or I'm just going to be here. You're in front of God. And when God speaks to you, it's time for you to listen to what he's saying. He will not strive with man always. That means he will not strive with you. Somebody's holding back, but yes. Tell the Lord, yes. Somebody's life depends on you, so tell the Lord, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel the tug of God right now. It's not just a coincidence that you just came and you just done your work here in the church and you just done whatever thing you do. God sees you. God knows. Don't let this day pass you by and think you got another chance, another day. I'll get it tomorrow. He's asking for a yes now. He's asking for a yes right now. You can't play with fire and then think you won't get burned. You can't entangle yourself in the works of the flesh and then think you're going to just walk away from it. The enemy's not going to let you. But when God speaks to you and he asks you through whomever he says it, and he tells you to stop, he tells you to come, he tells you to get right, he tells you to do these things, he meant what he said. Don't stand before him and say, oh, I didn't know I was going. Because he's not going to understand that. He's going to remind you of the times I've touched you. The times I've asked the Holy Spirit to touch you. And you refuse. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. You cannot speak life and death in the same tongue. He, the Bible says, be ye holy for I am holy. That means in every manner of conversation, every manner of way, every manner of discipline. That means be ye holy, always holy. Where you going in and when you coming out, be ye holy for I am holy. That's what the spirit of the Lord has been saying. Be holy. Yes, Lord.
we're done. Father, I pray as we leave this place as we leave and prepare our hearts and our minds to leave this sanctuary I pray for every hand that's lifted up in air that you would strengthen that you would refill and that they would say yes to your will Thank you for your word that has been given today by your prophetess, O oh God. Thank you for your promises you have made to us and told us what we would have if we only submitted ourselves to you. Let not our heart be hardened. Help us to continue to submit ourselves to you through prayer, through fasting, through seeking your word. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray for anyone in this place that's not feeling well, that you would heal their bodies. Anyone that's going through mental anguish, that you would heal them now. Anxiety, depression, oppression, the Lord Jesus rebuke you in Jesus' name. And the power of the living God rest upon you and protect you as you drive up and down the roads. Protect, oh God, those that are going away on vacations, that are going trips for Thanksgiving and leaving a little bit early. God, we pray your protection upon them and your power and your spirit lead and guide them. In Jesus' name we pray, thank God, amen and amen.